Welcome to the Weekly Bat. Giving Tuesday on December 3rd is just around the corner. Find out how you can get involved. With support from Brave, the Giving Block is orchestrating aid for nonprofits such as No Kid Hungry and the Tor Project. If you want to read about how you can get involved, check out the full weekly update where we have instructions and recommendations on how you can help spread the good. Brendan Eich's full keynote presentation video at Web Summit 2019 has been released. The keynote was called The Future of Privacy by Default and it's about Brave and Bat. You definitely don't want to miss this keynote presentation because it contains a lot of slides and images of things that are still to come and you may not have seen before. Google gives Brave a birthday cake for Brave 1.0. Be sure to check out the tweet and the picture of the cake that Google and the team over at Chrome actually sent us for our Brave 1.0 release. We're so happy to be part of this cake giving tradition in the browser developer community. From what I heard, the cake was absolutely delicious. CGTN America features Brave and Luke Malks in new segment on demystifying blockchain technology for average users. You can watch it by following the link inside the weekly update post. When I watched it, it was awesome to see Luke speaking inside our San Francisco offices and the news channel talking about how Brave can serve as an on-ramp for everyday mainstream users into the blockchain space, which has normally been pretty inaccessible and difficult for mainstream users. We're looking for volunteers. Help us train our Brave Ads machine learning and we'll give you $20 in an Amazon gift card. Follow the link inside the weekly update post in order to apply and see if you can get in and get that sweet $20 gift card while also helping Brave Ads become better and match even more accurately to people's interests. If you've been following the project, you know that this is a very, very important component in the success of BAT's core value proposition. Zuko Wilcox, CEO of Zcash says, I love Brave and I love Tor. And the best thing is that since I use Brave, it is zero added effort on my part to use Tor. I don't even have to switch browsers, install software or anything else. Zuko then goes on to ask about whether he could donate automatically to the Tor project with BAT. And luckily, the Tor project is verified, so you can definitely tip them for their amazing work for online privacy. Limited edition BAT and Access 79 jewelry pieces are on the way. Thank you to everyone who expressed interest in the limited edition BAT logo ring and dog tag that we'll be releasing soon. If you go into the weekly update, you'll be able to see the tweet where we share pictures of these beautiful new pieces, the signet ring and the dog tag. You definitely do not want to miss it. And you want to be sure to pick one up when we release them. Bat and Brave in the news. How to geek. Brave is more than a browser. It's a statement about how the internet should work. When Brendan Eich and Brian Bondi founded Brave in 2015, they wanted to address what they perceived as the biggest problem with the modern internet, intrusive advertising. Advertising is the fuel that powers the modern internet, allowing websites and digital creatives to monetize their content without charging users for every article or every video watched. That said, Ike and Bondi think it's got some pretty significant downsides, citing the potentially privacy-harming nature of advertising trackers, as well as the negative impact it has on overall user experience. Brave's first release came about amidst two significant trends, which ultimately defined the new browser. You can read the full article on howtogeek.com and following the link inside the weekly update post. Bitcoin donations poised to transform nonprofits. Giving Tuesday, which falls this year on December 3rd, is designated as the appointed day to give your time, dollars, and now cryptocurrency. This year, members of the cryptocurrency community are participating in hashtag Bitcoin Tuesday, a coordinated effort led by the Giving Block to promote crypto giving on Giving Tuesday. The lead sponsor is Brave, along with Gemini, Splunk, Inca Digital Securities, Bottle Pay, Coin Tracker, and Node40. It is anticipated that this initiative will lead to a groundswell of crypto donations. You can read the full text on Forbes.com by following the link inside the weekly update post. Remember, if you want to find out how you can get involved, please see the first post inside our weekly update. It'll tell you how you can tweet about Giving Tuesday. It'll tell you how you can donate for Giving Tuesday, how you can get out there in your community and do good.
check out this week's Roaring Fans on Twitter and on Reddit. If you go inside the weekly update post and scroll down to the bottom, you can see all the people inside the community and wider internet sphere who are excited about Brave and Bat and what we are doing to fundamentally change the web and create a world that is a lot better for your privacy. Browser Client Updates This week we saw the desktop developer channel evolve to 1.2.14 and the desktop beta channel evolve to 1.1.14. If you want to get the latest patch notes, you can go to brave.com slash latest and always make sure to update your browser by going into your settings and the help section and you'll be able to know whether or not you need an update to make sure you have the latest features and to always stay safe. Finally, we have Brave Team tweets. Brian Bondi tweets, Chrome's icon is looking like a big watchful robotic eye. That's a subtle reminder for you to launch Brave instead. If you want to read the full set of Brave Team tweets, be sure to open up the weekly update post and you'll be able to see what the Brave Team has been tweeting about over the past week. Thank you for listening. If you like these podcasts, be sure to follow or subscribe to stay up to date with the Bat community.